is African TV News Now for July the 29th, 2021. I am Deborah Aze. Many thanks for watching. We begin from Nigeria, where the federal government is set to release 36 billion naira to states as part of measures to cope the rising COVID 19 cases and prevent the third wave of the virus. The Benue State Commissioner for Health and Human Services, Joseph Mbe, who disclosed this, stated that the federal government promised to release the fund before the end of this month. Ingbe also indicated that the state commissioners of health would need to meet next week with the Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19 and the Federal Ministry of Health officials. It was gathered that the meeting would, among others, map out ways to show up testing, which on Friday dropped by 29% in the last one month. This came to the fore as the country recorded 404 cases on Thursday, the highest in the last one month. No fewer than 1,276 new COVID-19 cases were recorded in the country between May 27th and June 27th. According to the global body, through the COVID-19 Preparedness and Response Project, the government of Nigeria will provide grants to 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory as immediate supports to break the chain of COVID-19 local transmission and limit the spread of coronavirus through containment and mitigation strategies. It states that the grants will be conditional on states adopting COVID-19 responses strategies, which were in line with the Federal Government's guidelines. And in Africa, Senegal is now facing an explosion of COVID-19 cases due to the spread of the Delta variant. In Dakar, the health system is under great pressure as hospital beds dedicated to COVID patients are full and health personnel on the verge of breaking down. The West African country has suffered a third wave of virus infection in recent weeks, with cases rising from a few dozen a day late last month to about 1,700 in July. Health authorities have registered most of the new cases in Dakar, a city of over 3 million people. The National Director of Public Health Institution, Osumin Diallo, said that the third wave had been more severe than the previous two. He said, and I quote, we are overwhelmed and close to saturation with almost 99% of bed occupied in Dakar. He said, explaining that the city has 602 hospital beds and medical staff in the city capital are very tired and burned out, Diale also added. Bed occupancy stands at about 45% in the rest of the country. Senegal's vaccination campaign resumed on Saturday after an interruption with the delivery of 151,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. And in more stories, Tunisia president has launched a purge of senior officials, including prosecutors and judges, and taking on judicial power. Days after overthrowing the Prime Minister and imposing emergency law, Kai Said crackdown has dragged the country deeper into uncertainty days after its elected parliament was suspended for a month in a shock move that brought a decade of flattering democracy to a sudden halt. The action of Said, a related newcomer to politics, have been widely labelled a coup and their fears that the North African states could end up with a sort of autocratic regime that ruled it for decades. Tunisia, where the revolution began in 2010, had plans to hard-won democratic gains made during years of economic and political instability. And away from that story to the international scene, Norway postponed for a second time yesterday planned final step in reopening of its economy from pandemic lockdown due to the continued spread of the Delta variant of COVID-19, the government said. A new assessment will be made in mid-August, Health Minister Bent Oye has said. Measures that will be kept in place to halt the spread of COVID-19 include bars and restaurants being limited to table service and limits of 20 people on gathering in private homes. The government in April launched a four-step plan to gradually remove most pandemic restrictions and had completed the first three of those steps by mid-June. On July 5th, Prime Minister Enna Solberg said the fourth step could come in late July or early August at the earliest because of concerns about the Delta coronavirus variant. About 80% of adults in Norway have received a first dose of COVID-19 vaccine and 41% of adults are fully vaccinated, according to Norway Institute of Public Health. And as sports, the prize for the France international Raphael Varane is believed to be 41 million euros, including add-ons on the deal, is set to go through, subject to a medical. Having already signed England international Jadon Sancho for 73 million euros from Borussia Dortmund, the acquisition of Varane would be a further statement of intent from United. Varane is well established as one of the world's 
top defenders, having joined Real Madrid from French side Lens in the summer of 2011. If the deal goes through as expected, Varane's first competitive action for United could come when they start their Premier League campaign on August 14th against Leeds United at the Old Trafford. And that wraps it up on Africania TV News Now. For more stories, visit our website on Africania.tv. Follow us on all our social media platforms and join to and Pangram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and drop a comment for us in the comment section. I am Deborah Eze. Many thanks for watching.